it's time to do the day, everybody's going to just go over their trucks, their equipment, make sure they have all their safety gear, uh, chains, make sure the trucks are fueled up, plows working, sanders working. You know, making sure all the safety lights work, all the headlights, plow lights working. Just uh, a lot of stuff we've been steadily upgrading throughout the winter. Um, just making sure everything's ready. And basically what they'll do later this afternoon is go over their routes. The two guys will go out on each route, take a ride around, look for anything like drain covers, anything that's popped up so they know um, when they're out there, so no one have an idea where the drains are. And uh, you don't want to hit a drain doing 20, 30 miles an hour. It hurts quite a bit. And uh, basically that'll be that for the day. Main roads are first that we have to keep open for fire and emergencies. Then we go into the secondary roads. Once the wind dies down, uh, then we'll hit the secondary roads. And then get into any other roads after that. But the main thing is to keep the uh, main roads open for emergency vehicles. Um, in the event there we get a lot of snow, there is an emergency, call the police department, they'll get a hold of us. And we'll, now that we have the GPS, I'll know where all the trucks are and we can send the appropriate truck out to where we need to get to the emergency. This is one of our uh, brine trucks, uh, as you say, ice melting application sign there. Um, this is what we'll do, put down prior to the storm. Like I said, we won't use it on this storm because it's a threat of rain in between, kind of be a waste. And what we do is pre-spray the roads, just implemented that this year. It prevents the snow from sticking to the road. It helps, gives us a better cleanup. Give us one more uh, um, snow fighting capability for the town.